spotlight for this week. He has promoted events for Jeff B., Lee England Jr., and Carl Thomas. This man is placing his fingerprint in the world of promotion. Joining us now from the WGN newsroom to discuss the inner workings of concert event promotion for Gents Entertainment CEO, Mr. Markel Watkins. How you doing, Markel? Hey, I'm doing good. I can't complain at all, man. Glad to be here. I appreciate you coming out. You know, first of all, Markel, how does a person get started in promoting concerts, man? It seems like that's difficult. Well, I always say, you know, I always love the entertainment field. You know, and I figured out early that, hey, I can't sing, I can't dance, so I might as well, the next best thing is be a promoter. So, <laughs> so that was my thing. I started promoting, and uh, actually, it's actually uh, three of us, uh, my uh, other partner, Ron Robinson and uh, Willie Brooks. Yeah. And uh, you actually, uh, you just get out there and make it happen, man, I, you know. I love it. You know, what's most important, the artist, the event, or the place where you're throwing the event? Talk to me. I think all three play a major part, you know, uh, because you want the people that uh, you are inviting to the event mm -hmm. to be in a nice uh, area. Yeah. That's why we chose the Avalon, because it's, it's a real nice, classy area, but, you know, it, it actually puts you in, not in a big arena, but you almost can be there with the artists and, and not be, like, all the way away from them. You can actually be up close and personal with them. Yeah. Now, you know what's interesting about the artists that you promote, and we're going to show some, some pictures here shortly. Carl Thomas, of course, a major headliner out there. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen him perform. He's unbelievable. Uh, the ladies love that brother, Carl Thomas. Also, a violinist, man. What's up with the violinist? Oh, man. Lee England Jr., man, yeah. he's unbelievable. I say he's Chicago best kept secret. If you guys haven't heard of him, Lee England Jr., Go to YouTube and look this young fella up. He's amazing. I, he's like the Jimi Hendrix with a violinist. Yeah, you know what? And I've heard him play. It's phenomenal. I mean, I stood there, man, with my mouth open. Unbelievable. You know, are artists paid up front for concerts? Are they given half the money before a concert? Or do they get their money after the show is delivered? Well, a lot of times uh, you pay them a deposit of half of the money. And at, once they uh, come to the venue, the rest of the money is paid before they perform. Okay, who's responsible for the venue? Uh, uh, is that the promoter or the artist or the venue itself? Oh, uh, we are, we, we're responsible for the venue, paying the venue and making sure everything is uh, uh, the correct way the artists want it and uh, the stage and then all that. We are uh, pro we, What about insurance, man? Insurance. Uh, the venue has its own insurance and we also have our own insurance just in case anything uh, does happen. You always want to make sure you have your own insurance as well. And what about ticket sales? Do you choose uh, Live Nation? Do you sell tickets in, in stores? How do you do that? Well, with us right now, with us being like uh, on a small venue, a thousand, uh, we actually hand to hand selling tickets. Uh, we got different locations, uh, like at River Oaks Mall. We got uh, One Love uh, fragrances at Forest City and River Oaks Mall. Yeah. We kind of do like the mom and pop things. We use uh, small businesses to help us sell our tickets and also promote them on the radio and other things uh, yeah. as well. Talk to me about transportation, lodging, and meals for the artists. How do you arrange that? We do a lot of bartering, you know, a lot of uh, the limousine companies, we uh, actually go to them and we actually promote them as well and they actually help us out by picking up the artists and we actually give them exposures with commercials on the radio, uh, put them on all the uh, flyers and pluggers that we have yeah. and actually give them banners at the concert as well. Markel Watkins. Man, I appreciate you being on Gerard McClendon Live tonight. You got a big show coming up, Carl Thomas Experience, Friday, March 26, 2010 at the Avalon Manor. Markel Watkins, we wish you the best, man. Hey, thank you very much, and it was a pleasure being on your show, man. You have a great one. All right, you take care now. All right. You know.